Hello Charmers, welcome back. We've been incredibly lucky to be gifted another game and got some early access here. Uh, this one's called Shim. I think that's how it's pronounced. And it's an unusual one. And when I saw that the, the guys wanted some people to review this, I jumped at the chance because it looked so unique. Uh, at its basis, this game is a platformer. It may not seem like it, and you'll see what I mean when we go through it a little bit, but it doesn't seem like a platformer, but in essence it is. And I get the impression that this game is going to break my heart. Like so many indie games do, they're absolutely packed with emotion. But uh, let's get into it, and I'll uh, show you what it's all about. Uh, I'm going to be playing on controller today, uh, and I am on PC. The game is available, I think there's a demo available on Steam right now. Uh, but it is coming out soon to purchase. Um, and let me give you a little impression about what it's about. Uh, I have played through this once. Uh, unfortunately, I had some technical issues on the first video. So this is not going to be a fully a first impressions. But I'm going to talk you through what I like about the game. First of all, take a look at this artwork. Right? It doesn't look like anything else that's out there, really. Um, and the whole basis of the game is you're this little shadow. I think it's a shadow. It's like a, it's either a shadow or a creature that lives in the shadow. You can see him. You can see the little eyes in this little boy's shadow here. Uh, and look, you can see him jumping there. He's like, if I jump out, he's like a little frog. But he's made of shadow. He's very, very cute. And the whole purpose is that you can only move in the game by staying in the shadows. If I jump out of the shadows like this, if I jump onto normal ground... You can see that it kind of resets me. So this is what I'm talking about in terms of it being a platformer. The reason it doesn't feel like a platformer is because it's all on this single level. Uh, and it's just a, an unusual take on platformers. You're essentially inside these shadows. So you can move around in any way. So look, we've jumped out of the little boy's shadow. And you can make your way through. And what happens in, in each section of the game, you've almost got like a... A puzzle to solve you've got to figure out how to get back to the destination you're ultimately trying to find your way back so let's go through the uh let's go through the the intro here the other thing that's interesting about this game i'll say it's interesting fun little tweaks is you can interact with different elements so every shadow that you go into you can interact with the thing that causes that shadow and it makes it it makes it do something. So it could be beeping a horn. It could be ringing a bell. It could be, uh, you know, making the electrics go on. Um, and it's this very simple rotation system. So I can rotate around to see where the next shadow is. It might not always be clear where the next shadow is. But this is, this is how you kind of navigate through the game. So at any point during the game, if you hold down... Uh, R2, it shows you where you're trying to get to. So it gives you an idea of what direction you're trying to get to. In these early stages, you've also got these kind of red lines. So here we go. We've got an example of an interaction that is not only an interaction like with the bin, where it's just doing something quite fun, but this interaction here is actually required to move through the game. So if we hold uh, down square, uh, I'm on a, a PlayStation controller here. It may be different for you guys actually flings you forward and you get back into the shadow and now i'm controlling the boy so here we go r2 to view objective this is where we're trying to get to and at this stage it's fairly easy because we are in the boy but look there's lots of these little there's lots of these little shadow people these shims around in everything there's lots of them and you can interact with all of them in different ways right so now we got to go over here let's go over here and i want to get to oh no my shadows jumped out of me and gone into someone else I want to take you through this first section because it gives you an idea of why of why I think this game is going to break my heart. So you play mostly as the little shadow, but on occasion you play uh oh dear, you play as uh the the humans or the objects that contain the shadows. Right, we've got to go and put this fire out so we can grab the hose, come over here, and again it's just a, an interaction thing. Whoop. We've ruined the food. There we go. All done. We saved Dad. I don't know why me as the child was responsible for putting that fire out. But, you know, we move. We move. All right, let's go. We've got another task to achieve. I don't know what it is about this my little shadow person. He's just so keen... To get away from me right we're going down here 
God, the freedom of just being a child and riding a tricycle. That's all we want, isn't it? Right, where are we going then? Where are we going? So as you can see, the concept is fairly simple, but even within this demo, the the lengths that you have to go through to return to your human uh, get bigger and bigger. So you can see if I miss my platform or I miss my shadow, I basically get two jumps. Get two jumps to get to where I need to get to and get back in the shadows, otherwise I get reset to a, a certain point. Uh... Oh, hello. Hello, little mate. You okay? Oh, we got a little friend. We found a beach ball. And there's a bunch of these little trophies and objects throughout the game. Uh, that become, you know, important for you. Or sometimes you will need them as you go through. So you can actually interact with objects like this and make them bounce. And then we jump here. This is cool. I like this bit because it kind of bounces you up. And this interaction here I absolutely love. And let me tell you why. Listen to this. Is there any better sound than that? I was... When I woke up this morning and my daughter was in the bed and I get dressed in the morning and I was tickling that. And you know that uncontrollable laughter that is, is just like the essence of joy. That's the sound that she was making, and it just fills me with absolute, absolute happiness. Unadulterated happiness, and that's what that sound is. I love it. That is one of the best interactions in this whole game. Uh, so where are we trying to get to? We're trying to get uh, all the way over here. So again, nothing, nothing particularly complex here, but within the demo, there's a couple of kind of examples of how how more complex it can feel like how some of the puzzles you have to do other things in order to to get to your destination rather than it just being a simple left to right thing there's you know there's more complexity in it but i just want to take you through this initial section because look as you as you move through this section here you start to see this little this little boy growing up uh, here's an example of where you mix between... This is me controlling the boy. I can't move any further forward. Uh, and I need to jump across the road and interact with an object in order to, to progress the game. Um, and then I can get back into my human and control them. Look, and you can see little you can see little shadows like swimming around just in random places. It's quite cute. But this bit I like because every, every like... There's no cutscene as such. But they've got this seamless transition of like growing up as you run through um and on this one again another interaction where we need to jump across interact with an object and then jump back to control our human to get them across the rail track so there's a few little bits like that and i imagine that'll become more prevalent as the game goes on uh there's a bunch of different objects you can be in or on so in this case we're on a bicycle um and you get different interactions at different times. So him looking at his watch there is, is an interaction from me. But there's something really beautiful about this initial opening segment of the game. And it's not really about the game. It reminded me of like in um, games like Unraveled. Where there's like these scenes going on in the background. Look, he's just, his girlfriend's gone. He's sad. Uh, these scenes going on in the background and you don't really necessarily get the whole story you just get these little snippets of things that are happening and you you get a sense of the emotion of it more than you get a sense of like the, the specific parts of the story and that's what the introduction to this game gives you i think the art feels beautiful it feels different it feels unique it feels simple but but you know beautiful at the same time and the fact that it can tell a story, you know, a bit like in, um, how did I get out of here? A bit like in Wally, -E, where it's like no words, but it's telling a story for like the first hour or so of the film. That's what this feels like. There's no words. 
but the story is being told as you go through. I mean, he's just gone from being a child to being carefree to, to going to college to having a girlfriend to losing his girlfriend. Then all his friends going off to these different jobs. Look, come on, let's get going. I sit back on a bike now. This was one of the saddest bits for me of the whole intro, and it's him getting an office job. It just it just filled me with a dread, and that's a very you know it's obviously a personal thing to me. I've spent so long trying to get out of that, but I just remember that feeling of getting into a job like this and thinking that this was your future, and then realizing actually. Maybe not. I wish time did pass that quickly when you worked in an office. All of that time, all of that hard work, and he's working for this suit and tie here. This haircut and a tie. He's clearly giving him bad news. Again, getting that emotion across without the use of any dialogue. I think is there's more skill to that than than we probably give rec recognition to. Uh, where are we going? Oh no, the bike's gone as well. <laughs> it's just it's just one thing after another for this dude. One thing after another. Yeah, I get it, man. I get it. Completely get it. Right, we're trying to get into the bus now. Oh, come on! Look at him. He's on his knees. He's literally on his knees. He does not know what to do with himself. Oh. He, it really looks like he clunks his head there. And that's... That's the intro. This is the start of your journey, really, as as a shadow. You kind of from this point on, you're you're well in the platformer, trying to make your way back to your human. Because to me, it feels like the implication is he's he's kind of lost part of his his soul, and I just get an, a complete s like feeling of panic. For the for the little shadow guy, because what's he gonna do? What's he gonna do without his human? And that's basically the crux of the game, guys. So you can see how it's a platformer. You can see all the little different interactions with the game. It does feel less high stakes than some of the other platformers you might play, and, and I think that's something to do with it all being on a single level. It's not like you know, these platformers where you you fall from a huge height. Like, it's definitely in the... It's not a rage game, or at least it doesn't feel like it. It's in that cosy game category where you can sit and chill and chat and go through it, and there's, there's no real high stakes. But there are these little puzzles to get your head around. There's these little quandaries and these little things that you need to figure out in order to progress in the game. But there's nothing so horrifically difficult there that it's going to make you furious. It looks beautiful... It feels like the story is really going to play out and there is going to be a story arc across the whole game, but we're still, you know, waiting. My one complaint about this demo really is that there wasn't more of it. I know I can't really complain about that. It's a free demo. I got early access to the game. Uh, there was there was no expectations on me, on set on me to review the game. But when I got to the end of it, I, part of me was like, oh, no, I really wanted to play more of that. So go and check it out on Steam. I'll put a link down in the description. Uh, make sure you wishlist it. I think there's a demo you can download right now if you want to play through it yourself. But definitely return to it when the game comes out because I think you will really enjoy it. You know, it, this is not an adrenaline junkie game. It's about sitting back, relaxing, enjoying the atmosphere, enjoying the vibe and enjoying the story. Uh, and I think that the developers and the designers have done a phenomenal job on this. So highly recommend it. Give it a go. And uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, guys. We've got lots more first impressions, lots more gameplay, lots more stuff coming on the YouTube channel. And I look forward to seeing you on the next one.